we consider a family not just the mom, dad, and the kids, but it's including grandma, second cousin, first cousin, the whole, it's almost like the whole village, they're your family. And let me give you an example. When my mom came here to visit us, we only have two kids. When she came and okay, found out that we only have two kids, she felt sorry for us because we only have two kids. Because back in the island, when you have more kids, you're rich. Because they help you around the, you know, take care of coconut, collecting coconut cobras, making cobras and all that. So they do help. That's why they think that the more kids you have, the richer you are in our, and you know, like I said, family is something that is, is in your heart. You cannot live without them. They have to be there to, for us to support each other and they're there to help you or you're there to help them whenever whenever they need your help. Well, for one thing, let's take example obesity. Okay, it's part of health. Uh, in the island, if you're fat, they think that your husband takes care of you real well. You know, you're skinny over there, they're saying, oh, oh, he's not taking care of her. But here, is different. If you're skinny or slim, they say you're healthy. But back in the island, they said, oh, oh, she's hungry. She needs food. Well, in the first place, I came here not to just visit and see the pretty Disneyland or America, but I was sent here to go to school so I can go back and help our people there. But then people start coming over here. So it was easy for me to stay and help the new people that are coming here and not acquainted with the way America lives, you know, and also help them. I even take them to the hospital and try to interpret, you know, when they don't even understand the language or when there's brochure that they need to understand. I also translate it to our language. So that's what I've been helping, you know, our family as far as, not family, but the, our people, especially here in Orange County. And sometimes I go to Missouri and also help the Marshallese family there. And pretty soon next month, I'll be in Arkansas. I will take the, I think you've seen the breast cancer or the breast examination, you know, I translate it and I'm going to take it back there and work with the ladies there. Because a lot of them don't even know how to self-exam their breasts. They don't even understand what mammogram is. They don't even understand all these languages that has to do with health. So I feel since I've been going to school and getting education and I've been so lucky that I feel that it's my responsibility to help the community, the Marshallese community here. And not just here in California, but wherever they need me.